Quetzalcoatl Entertainment presents Quinlan's Animation Extravaganza, episode 148, The Pink Shoes. that this is no scheme of crime. We can set them too. All right, let's go. Let's follow them without being noticed. Man, whoever's behind this scheme is going to get their ass handed to them. Oh, don't worry. We'll make sure of that. Guys, I found the source. Oh my god. Lola Loud. What's enabling her to control these little girls? Only one way to find out. All right, you little brat. What's the meaning of all this? Oh, well, I may as well give him what he wants. I'm seeing a black aura coming from these shoes. Oh my god, there is! Something must be suspicious about those shoes. Exactly. I think Lola's desire for attention has gone too far. Normally, I would try to stay away from her because she's so narcissistic and spoiled. But I fear that if Lola continues to wear those shoes, then her narcissism and brattiness would be her demise. Well, let's wait and see what happens later on. Whoa, what cruelty. Come to think of it, Dexter has an older sister trained in the ballet. I don't know how she would react. Wait, why did the sky just turn dark? The sky's darker than during a thunderstorm. Is it what we think it is? We gotta find out. Let's go. Could it be? Oh my god, it is! Lola's now being controlled by the shoes as well! Alright, it's time to put an end to those shoes. Transformation! Transformation. Girls, you take on the little girls. I'll take care of Lola. Got it! There's gotta be a way to free Lola from the shoe's control. Freeing her might cause the little girls to return to normal as well. Wait, that one episode of Kung Fu Panda. All right, here goes nothing. Bubble Beam! Did it work? accepted. Oh, and one more thing. Don't ever make fun of my cross-dressing again. Oh, sorry about that. You actually went to cute that costume. Well, I'm heading home now. Bye! Lola has redeemed herself. Wonder how her siblings will react. Well, I'm sure they'll be quite shocked. Well, let's head home. Well, that's the end of Lola Loud's narcissism and brattiness. She's now become the sweetest six-year-old girl I've ever met. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Let's help Dexter with the wedding rehearsal tomorrow, okay? Alright, see you later.
This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.